Hello students. Welcome to the new lecture of physics. I am Mayur Sarma and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the most important topic of electromagnetic wave. If you go through CBSC board papers of last 10 years you will find that this question has been asked for more than four to five times and the topic is electromagnetic spectrum. What is electromagnetic spectrum? Basically the whole range of frequency or wavelength of electromagnetic wave arranged in a definite order is known as electromagnetic spectrum. That is the full range of electromagnetic waves arranged according to their frequency or wavelength will be known as electromagnetic spectrum. Now the electromagnetic spectrum includes the following waves. Number one, radio waves. Number two, microwaves. Number three, infrared rays. Number four, visible light. Number five, ultraviolet rays, which are also known as UV rays. Number six, X rays. And number seven, gamma rays. The collection of these waves is known as electromagnetic spectrum. While you are writing about the electromagnetic spectrum, you have to follow the same order as shown above. So, is there any method or a trick to remember the order of a spectrum? Yes, the trick to remember the order of the spectrum is here. But before that, let us first write the waves in a definite order. That is radio waves, microwaves, infrared rays, visible light, ultraviolet rays, x-rays and gamma rays. Now, as a student, I find this method very easy to remember the order of the spectrum. That is here radio waves R, R means rich ear, M means man, I in, V for village, U for uses, X for x-ray and G for gun. That is rich man in a village uses x-ray gun. You can see that R for rich and R for radio waves. M for man and M for microwaves, I for in and I is infrared rays, V for village and V for visible light, U for uses and U is ultraviolet rays, X rays is X rays only and G for gamma rays. Now for this order of electromagnetic spectrum that is radio waves, microwaves, infrared rays, visible light, ultraviolet rays, X rays and gamma rays. As we move from top to bottom, it is found that the frequency of waves increases while the wavelength decreases. So from top to bottom, frequency increases and the wavelength decreases. While if you move from bottom to top, it is found that wavelength increases but frequency decreases. Let us now discuss about the range of electromagnetic waves. First one is radio waves. The range of radio waves is greater than 0.1 meter. The second one is microwaves. The wavelength of microwaves lies between 0.1 meter to 1 millimeter. The third one is infrared rays. The range of infrared rays is 0.1 mm to 700 nanometer. Fourth is visible light. The range of visible light is 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer. The fifth one is ultraviolet rays or UV rays. Its range is 400 nanometer to 1 nanometer. Then we have X-rays. The range of X-ray is from 1 nanometer to 10 to the power minus 3 nanometer and the last one gamma rays has a range of less than 10 raised to minus 3 nanometer. So this is the range of electromagnetic waves in terms of their wavelength. Now here also we are going to use a trick to remember the range of electromagnetic waves. A simple trick to remember the range of electromagnetic waves. Before that let us write all the electromagnetic waves that is radio waves, microwaves, infrared rays, visible light, ultraviolet rays, x-rays and gamma rays. Now out of these seven generally we are aware of the range of visible light that is the range of visible light is from 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer. Now what we are going to do here is we are going to take this 400 nanometer from visible light and will move it towards UV light. 
that is 400 nanometer towards UV rays. Now, in the same way, 700 nanometer will move up for infrared rays. So here we got 700 nanometer for infrared rays and 400 nanometer for UV rays. Again, 400 nanometer to 1 nanometer will be the range of UV rays. Similarly, here we'll add 1 mm for infrared rays. So we got the range of infrared rays as 1 mm to 700 nanometer and the range of UV rays is 400 nanometer to 1 nanometer. In the same way, we are going to take 1 nanometer down towards X-rays and 1 mm upward towards microwaves. So 1 mm will move towards microwave and 1 nanometer towards X-rays. In the same way, the range will be for microwaves will be 0.1 meter to 1 mm and X-rays will be 1 nanometer to 10 to the power minus 3 nanometer. Now from radio waves, for radio waves, 0.1 meter from microwave will move up. So for radio waves, it is greater than 0.1 meter and for gamma rays, 10 rays to minus 3 nanometer will move down. So we'll get the range of gamma rays less than 10 to the power minus 3 nanometer. This is a simple trick to remember the range of electromagnetic waves. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Our next video will be uploaded soon. Till then, please take care of yourself and your family. Keep on reading and if you have liked the video, if you have enjoyed the video, then please like share the video and do not forget to subscribe it thank you